Welcome to Analytic Yena's video tutorial series on elemental analysis of edible oils and fats by ICP OES. You're watching the fourth episode, giving tips on device maintenance and optimization. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yena YouTube channel. Regular maintenance and cleaning is important to secure the functionality of the instrument and to ensure high quality of the obtained results. A well-maintained system guarantees maximum instrument uptime and prevents unexpected failures and questionable results. The pump tubing should be visually inspected at regular intervals. Worn tubing can be recognized by flattened pump tubing material, which results in irregular flow rates. This, in turn, can affect the precision of the measurements. To enhance the lifetime of the tube material, they should be completely relaxed after finishing the ICP OES measurement. Since pump tubing can accumulate sample material over time, heavily used tubing material can contribute to elevated background levels and blank standards and samples. And therefore, we recommend to change the tubing material frequently. To avoid contamination and the reduction of signal intensity, we recommend to inspect and clean the spray chamber and the nebulizer on a regular basis. Especially for the analysis of organic samples, the entire torch system should at least be subject to a daily visual inspection. Typical places for contamination are the upper part of the outer tube and the tip of the injector. Here, any carbon deposits have a severe effect on the measurement sensitivity since the injector tip can be gradually clogged. Using the correct method settings can almost eliminate these carbon depositions and therefore cleaning is not required very often. Cleaning is most efficient when the torch is disassembled into its individual parts. And this is of particular importance for the cleaning of the injector. Unsuitable method settings result in an injector that looks like this, which needs to be cleaned very frequently. A generally common approach is to clean in diluted or concentrated acids. In our experience, it is very difficult or impossible to remove the carbon deposits from the glass parts in this way. A far more efficient way to remove the carbon deposits is to burn them out in a muffle furnace or by using a Bunsen burner. To do this, simply hold it briefly into the flame. Reassembly of the clean torch components is very simple in reverse order to disassembly. In this way, the entire sample introduction system can be cleaned in a matter of minutes. Another set of components where matrix can be deposited over time are the windows in axial and radial plasma observation and the cone material. This leads to a gradual decrease of intensity. For cleaning, simply remove the windows and the cone and clean them according to the user instructions. If you follow these simple tips, the way is cleared for a smooth and efficient analysis of your oil samples. With this, we have reached the end of this short best practice of oil analysis with ICP OES. We hope you were able to gain some insights and valuable information to make your oil analysis more efficient.